hello uh, good afternoon my name is Obindako uh, welcome I want to share with you my thought on on fear okay. you being able to control fear when you set an agenda uh, for yourself when you set to achieve something for yourself We live in a culture that a lot of things are linked to, you know, to the spirit, to the to superstition. And so uh, you can be living your life, and then somebody will just <laughs> call you and tell you that they had a dream for you, and that you 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 had an accident or you 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 are going to have a problem. And that uh, they have to declare some bit of, uh, you know, a spiritual war for you, a spiritual intervention for you, you know. So when you when you when you live in such kind of an environment, how do you guard yourself, and how do you uh, get yourself, you know, your head clear from a lot of these people? Some of them will look very nice and calm and collected, and some of them will obviously look like, uh, you know, like, um, like charlatans. We are able to identify the ones that we so much don't trust quickly. But then there is also a condition, you know. People, for instance, you see a young man who, who is very ambitious, trying to do something for himself, and his understanding of how to get money is for him to go to uh, some spiritual leader you know, to, 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 to get money. Had, why is it that he's not thinking of sitting down to plan, you know, set, setting something for himself or starting something for himself and being patient to get uh, uh, results and the money that he wants? A lot of it is because people are easily uh, uh, controlled when it gets to a realm that they call uh, spirit. So when you are trying to do something uh, for yourself, People have the tendency to think that they can they can just conjure anything and come and tell you, and then you will follow them. If you are going to start a business or you are doing business and are going to be successful, uh, you 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 should you should look at that kind of tendency in the culture as well. It's critical because people can somebody can easily call you <laughs> and tell you that they had a revelation from God. And that can distort you. I remember there was a time that somebody called me early in the morning and told me that um, he thought that I would have an accident or something. And I, in fact, I was very angry and I asked the person that, when are you going to call me to tell me that there is a good news for me? Because I don't put up with that kind of uh, thinking. That anybody at all can sit somewhere and just try to create panic and fear for you. You know, so people can walk into your into your business and tell you, all the all the things that they think that they have power to tell you and a lot of them are masterful at that you know they create that kind of fear in you so that they can start from you and they go on all around us you know all kind of things malams people who are holding bible all kind of people are trying to take something from you create some kind of fear there are fear which you may not even link to uh, the spiritual sense, so to say. There are fear of you not trying to even start your business in the first place because you don't want to fail, you don't want to go through any pain. I am of the opinion that a lot of the things that we are going to handle in this life, if they are not working, you have to sit down and get the facts right and get, the, and get your calculations right and get your data right. At least do those things. If it doesn't work, you would have done your part. But most of us were not even taught the basics rightly. And then somebody is trying to create panic and fear and everything around you and tell you why you are not succeeding, why you are having it uh, tough, why, why yours is not working, why your business is not working, why your vision is not coming to realization, why your family is not working. Meanwhile, there are a lot of the natural things that you can easily do to get things rightly. And most often than not, if you get these things rightly done, you will be way ahead of, 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 of having the chance to succeed at what you do. But people can create that continuous uh, desire in us not to fail, 
continuous desire in us not to get into pain to control you to tell you that they have the they have the ability they have the power to create the life uh, that you so want for for you without you going through the procedures to build uh, your character to build your strength to understand your numbers to build the profit to apply the right kind of uh, uh, technology in in helping you to succeed what you're doing most people who come with this kind of fear control don't come with these basic facts but they know that as as africans that we are we are quickly drawn to 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 do superstition to to that which is beyond us and we think that for us to succeed with whatever we are doing that is where this that is where the advantage is uh, the, the advantage is i i think that you don't have to let yourself be programmed that way or anybody at all can call you and tell you that I had a dream and you had done this and this one was going to go bad and therefore I have to declare some by, some bit of fasting for you. You are going from you are going from Kumasi to Tamale and if you don't do these sacrifices, you you are going to get into this. If you are going to win this contract, go and see this man. You are going to win this election. Go and do this man. I think we have done so much of those things that we have sacrificed uh, right procedures development. You know the things that we have to get better are to get results and so people will continue to uh, to create those kind of panic and fear in us in our quest to get results in our quest to get to the next level in our quest uh, to grow to expand because they know that we don't we don't believe in facts and figures and they will even tell you that you know those things are not important but if you are going to build a house at least if it's a very expensive house you are not just going to use superstition. You want to get your drawings right. You want to get to make sure that your architect, your architecture does the right thing, your structural engineers, all those people who produce the, the calculations for you to get the things off the ground, get it right. At least, the same thing in life. Get the basis right in whatever you are trying to do. If it's the finances of the business, the business that is going through a lot of trouble, sit back. Plan well. Don't just let that fear, uh, let that let them use that seed in you which is all is, is in all of us trying to look for spiritual interpretation as to uh, the, the problems that we go through don't let them use that to, to 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 push you to make the wrong decisions because most business people are always being controlled by one of these people or the other you know you go to some business uh, morning they are praying afternoon they are praying evening they are praying all night everywhere most of these top, top, top successful business people, a lot of them are not even doing these things. And this person has even no bookkeeping, has no understanding of the business, and yet all the hours we are using to create this fear. Or some people are going to the malam or to the herbal, you know, the juju man to go and look and understand why this is happening. For me, if that is your religion, that's fantastic. But if you, if they are just using that to control you, uh, they will control you forever because then you will never get the tools to grow and that fear is, is then becomes you know it, it will continue because they will use it to abuse you and before you you see it you have lost everything you have lost everything because you you will then even not put any time in the business you will not even do any research you will not even try to find the answers because everything is pushed into that realm where uh, they can get you to fear all the time so what I, I i i want to share with you is that the things that create the fear prevent you from starting once you start once you start to do something the confidence will come once you start to do something, you, you, you get clear as you start to move. Get the basis right. Don't let the other people who we call, uh, <laughs> they know, they know, they, they will declare all kind of things for you. They will call you and, as if they are the only people who are hearing from God, you know, and they control that. If you go to any business center, you see all of them with microphone talking and praying for all these market women, they will not even allow them to have peace of mind. They are preaching, they are taking this, they are, it, and they are declaring fasting for them every day and they never encourage these women to even learn anything about management learn anything about all the basic things that the business must have and if those things are not even working then you can look at maybe maybe it could be some what they call spiritual but at least for me if you get this basis right 
and you understand your game and I'm, I'm sure that you'll be fine without going from these guys to the other to the other to the other because uh, the thing is that they are not it's not that they so much care about your business it's because of what you're giving to them the money you are giving because they are is also in that thing trying to make money you know so they anytime I go to the marketplace I, I, I get sad and they put microphones everywhere and and, and these women, even if they are not making sales, they are trying to go and put money in the in the offering for these men so that they will they will make sales. And a lot of these things, uh, well, they have come to believe them. And and it, and for me, it destroys a lot of most of these small scale businesses because just like the building needs drawing and a lot of scientific calculations to work, so the business will need uh, basic basic ones to work. You know, people are building. 100 story building with just scientific formulas yet we are just trying to build a little business and these people are trying to tell us why your grandmother is responsible why your business is not working your uncle is responsible why the business is not working and then some people are declaring spiritual war not. those are all just they are using fear to control you and you are going to be free when you get to understand that listen these things are not just they are not esoteric you know they are not some things within any other realm people have done it and, and they have done it well with numbers and so it's the same you have to at least get the confidence that you can also do it if you want to serve God serve God but people trying to use what you are trying to achieve to get into your life and try to be the priest over everything that you do is for me uh, one of the things that you will regret when, uh, when, when, when your business doesn't work because they are just taking the money, they are taking the time and they continue to uh, 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 destroy whatever you are doing. You know? So uh, for me, if you are going to, if you are going to uh, continue to work then continue to work well with your numbers get your facts right and that will help you to succeed because uh, your business needs a lot of data a lot of business a lot of just business understanding the things that people have found out in trying to run business they run everywhere because when you go to for instance if when you go to <laughs> Vegetable market or, or or any not even them even proper business um, even not so proper business but at least business with some bit of setup you see them coming there all the time trying to prophesy and give you a lot of spiritual connotations and interpretation as to why you are going through all kind you are going through and they know that as we are we are we are made of no we are grown we are grown we have grown in an environment where we believe these things are the ones deciding everything. And then we cut off the processes, we cut off the procedures, we cut off the, the basic facts that we need to have. And the moment we are not having these things rightly and things start to go bad, then they are right. Because then it's spiritual, it's demon. Somebody in your village is trying to pull you down. Somebody in some kind of uh, place is trying to make sure that you don't succeed. Uh, your business will never, you know, those kind of things. I think that you have to have master the courage and stay out of that and focus on building something with your life. And if you hit the rock, get the facts right. A lot of these, uh, because if you look at the facts, the people who are controlling a lot of wealth, they are not going to these people in the first place. And yet, uh, very few of the small ones who are trying to do something believe that somebody is trying to kill them because he have started a small business or trying to achieve something small. It's not true. The man is trying to just put that fear in you all the time. So that call that I had from the man early in the morning, I told him that, please, if you are not going to have anything good for me, don't be calling me to be telling me that you are going to have a sin and God reveal some things to you and all that. I told him, no. I don't, I don't believe in those things. You know, and if anything at all, that God, God should also speak to me. Why is he speaking to you and he's not speaking to me? You know, and it's your life. It's your life. So if you're going to build something, settle that. Settle that. Because you can run from, I see people running from one spirit person, you know, so one spiritual leader to the next spiritual leader to the next spiritual leader. And yes, once in a while you may get some kind of uh, victory from what they say, but consistent, consistent, continual uh, victories. They come from structural establishment, you know, systems, growing, growing yourself, understanding the processes, understanding the procedures. And if you don't get those right, then no matter how many years that we have been uh, trying to build the business or we have been trying to build uh, uh, the goal or the project, it will not, it's not going to work because the bases are not there. The bases are not understood. 
So, and that's if you the moment you understand the basis, then the, nobody can use the fear to control you. Nobody can use that kind of fear to, to, to just push you, push you, push you. Because they can push you and you even lose your mind. Because every time you're looking, you're waiting for them to tell you, this man has never done business before, and yet every time you're, you're asking him all these questions. Why is my sales low? Why is my finances low? Why am I... A lot of those things are, are not working because you, you didn't understand them. You know, and if you understood them and they are not working, you also understand that some things may take some time for them to work out, you know. So, um, for me, don't let anybody use the fear, the fear of you starting, the fear of the spiritual, the fear of you failing to control you. It's your destiny, it's your life. And, and the moment a lot of people who are doing business will understand this, they will succeed. If they come to preach and want to give them something, yes. But you are not waiting for the prayer for you to make your business successful or for you to make sale or for you to handle uh, all the problems that you are handling. You have problems just like any scientific uh, or any endeavor. They have formulas that work. If you don't understand those things, the problems will continue to beat you. And then you, you are waiting for prayer from somebody all the time. And if that person is praying for you, knew it so much, why is he not doing that thing? Waiting for you to give him money all the time for him to get a living. And so I say that uh, if a young man, you are starting something, you don't need all those malams to, to be controlling you. You don't need all those uh, uh, young men who are carrying Bible everywhere trying to interpret everything to you. You know, you don't need that guy to hear from God before he tells you. They will use that and they know how to do that because they are masterful at that. They, buy, uh, uh, they will create fear. They will create fear. They will create fear. If you allow them, they will create fear. Every day you will go to them. Every day you go to them because they have to have somebody to tell something to. You know, and some people will even, <laughs> they have to call you every day to pray for you on phone. And some of them will be reaching you on WhatsApp. And a lot of them are just noise. Don't believe in them. You don't believe in them. Yes, be spiritual, go to church, but they don't have to use those things to control you. Because in that case, they create that inadequacy in you all the time. You don't have what it takes. So they have to hear and tell you. And the moment they are leading that, the thing that you have said to do, you won't succeed. No matter how many years you put in them. You know. So I think that they are just relying on, on the fact that we grew up with very little data on a lot of things. And we still haven't had that a lot of data on trying to achieve achieve anything. They are going to use this for their for their benefit. They are going to use that for their benefit. And across board. All of them, they are using that. You see very successful businessmen, they will be calling him for days, for days, for days, for days. Before you see it, the business is gone. You know, and a lot of them have become really the, 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 the omnipotent over you. And it's because you fear. You think that you are inadequate. And so I would say that don't, don't let anybody use fear against you. If the business you are trying to do, just start. If it doesn't work, it should not create that kind of panic that you have to rush to them and get and go and do all these sacrifices just because you are trying to start a business and it didn't work. But did you even understand how the business has to be set in the first place? You know? So the moment they can create that in you, they will keep on coming. I go to the market, I see them, ah, the, the man will come and preach, then another one will come and preach, and they are all taking offering. How much is this woman, are these women making in the first place that you are taking all these offerings from them every day? You know, and they are, if they have to go for their product from another city, they have to declare fasting because they are going to take car to go. It's, and some, <laughs> the other time I heard something that the woman went to China, was trying to bring something. Instead of her carrying the required load, she took more than the required load. And then she said that oh, somebody prayed for him that uh, she could take that, you know. And it didn't work because the people look at it and said that you are carrying too much we can't carry why do you have to go to somebody to for him to pray for you so that you can you can take more than the regard load without declaring this is how far they have tried to push everything on on some of these women and it's so hard or some of these men as well and it's so hard for you even to tell them that these people are just trying to take advantage of you because you know they think that they protect them um, i don't think that those are true I think that you are as, you are as strong, you are as powerful, you, 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 you are as worthy to hear and to control anything that happens in your life. You know, you have to have that because then you can control the fear. If you don't have that kind of acceptance, com uh, completeness that you, you are in charge of your life, you know, and if another person wants to come in, they need your permission. 
they, they, they can't just come in and just tell you anything and create panic for you and create you know people are causing a lot of mess with these kind of things and businesses are businessmen are a lot of a lot of people are people who are even giving this money out if they didn't really sit down to look at the numbers and they were doing really good work in terms of the business you see that the money that they are giving out will not even more will be close to the profit that they're making and then you see that the next three four years the business is gone or is struggling because you don't wait for a miracle to grow a business it's a procedure there are systems for you to grow the, the business miracles yes they might happen they are just interventions but they are not the norm for you to build anything so if you want to build anything don't let them use the fear the fear the fear the fear the fear and cut yourself out from them some of them want you to come for all night every day where are you going to have the strength to, to focus and have a clarity of mind and they never encourage you to do to read any one book on that which you are doing you know so it's it's a burden it's a burden and i i see it all the time and it doesn't matter uh, you can even see it all with the people who say they have gone to school it's the same they control, them, they control them every time and they, they really uh, teach them into submission into these things but if you're going to achieve your dream if you're going to achieve your goal and if you set it for yourself you need some level of, of competence some level of personal sectors some some level of personal power being in charge of that which happens around you you know nobody is a superior and you have to go to him all the time or no no I don't think so. If it has to do with business, I don't think so. If it has to do something that you are building yourself, I don't think so. Get the facts right. Get the get, get the basis right. You know, if we have a project and we are doing it and we want to build it, we don't go to a spiritual leader for us to build it. No, we just look at the drawings and we continue to build. And if we meet problems, we discuss them. You know, say you are building business. It's not anything so unique. You know, you, you don't need spirituality to build a country. You don't need the <laughs> <laughs> there are laws, there are systems. If you're going to have character, have the, the perseverance, update your technology, put in the hours required, these things will build. And people have built these things without exaggerating it to areas that we don't understand. Because once they push it to the area that you don't understand, then you become the one that is fit. They, they have to rely on them every time. And you become powerless. And how can you become powerless and still build something? You know, so uh, this is what I think. You can only control the fear if you if you have power, if you believe that you have what it takes, and that no no no, this one you are building is within your reach, is within your reach, uh, your approach. Don't allow people to just keep lying, keep lying, and control you and take money and start from you. And sometimes you go to some of the women and you cry. You know, and they, everything they say, oh, by God's grace, by prayer, you know, sister, you have to pray. Prayer is there, but what kind of prayer are you even praying, you know? And and this spirituality has really messed up. Because the, the person is talking of God's grace, but he's never gracious to anybody in the first place. You know? He's talking of grace, but when you even offend them, <laughs> they're going to kill you. You know, so why are you talking of grace if you can even be gracious to another? You are, you are talking as if you are so much spiritual, yet you can't even forgive another person. You can't even be credible. You can't even be honest. So I think that when you want to build anything, anything don't let anybody anyway whether they are using a spiritual component which be in a super, you know in a superstitious way to con to create some panic in you or the natural fear that you have when you want to start anything let none of them stop you you know let none of them stop you you become competent as you keep trying and as you, you keep going so resolve that if somebody else has done it you can do it they all had to confront the same kind of uh, mess in the same culture and don't allow anybody to come around and be giving you all kind of prophecies and all kind of prayers and all kind of uh, uh, things that they set for you all the time which you will never finish meeting you know and you become exhausted you become you become powerless and then you give up and don't let that natural thing that you have to have uh, when you want to go to the next stage uh, cripple you from taking the step take it and once you take it you see that you become confident in your ability confident in you are not going to succeed in on anything if you don't believe that you have some kind of confidence some kind of ability to take on that project to take on that business you have to have that belief and don't let anybody take that thing from you in the name of God or in the name of anything at all and there's no need to go to a malam for money 
and to get no money is a product of good decisions and good structures and patience and trying to build something you know don't let anybody control you off all those they, they are not real why did they ask you for money in the first place why are they not creating their own money to use you know so those are the things that i think you should control control them and, and once you get to control them nothing of these things that they call fear uh, can cripple you because the fear anytime you set any new agenda the fear will come they will come all the time they will come do they have to stop you no you, you you have to find a way of trying to take the first step and once you take the first step the rest will follow and you keep updating yourself so the power is you don't let any anybody try to create all kind of things scenarios they create all kind of scenarios that are not even rare in the first place you know and and they, they become the power over you and you become nothing and so that is what i want to say believe in yourself believe in your ability to keep going believe in that power don't go and consult all these medium just because you think that you're powerless. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true at all. Believe in your power to overcome that fear that that project will set for you. And don't think that this somebody has some spiritual power over you in your bed to achieve the same goal that you have set for yourself. Because if they had the power to control everything, then why would God want to judge you? then why would you want to deal with God in the first place, one-on-one? -on -one. Why should it be one-on-one? -on -one? Because somebody was representing you. You know, so it means that kind of... Sorry, sorry, I need the same. It's the same across board. So this is my, my take that you have natural fear whenever you want to uh, uh, start anything. You have natural fear. They are normal. And then don't let all these guys who are carrying Bible around, entering every business, every shop, uh, giving all kind of things that they think God is telling them to tell you. Don't give uh, uh, ear to them. It's not true. A lot of them are just lying. <laughs> they want the money from you. So have that confidence. If God wants to tell you, he should tell you. <laughs> After all, then why did Christ come to die? You know, why do you need the malam to be telling you what to do the next stage? Why? You know, so and this, is my, this is my feeling that the fear, the natural part, is normal for anybody who wants to uh, dare to do anything. You have some bubbles within you, but you will get to understand it once you take the first, the second, the third step, you know. And then the other side, that somebody is trying to tell you that he had a dream about you, God spoke to him about you and all those. If they are trying to create the fear in you, don't buy it. It becomes a perpetual rope. <laughs> it's somebody who tries to you know, uh, uh, you are clean. You don't take cocaine, and then this person introduces you to cocaine, and then he's trying to control you by not trying to give you or not to give you. It's the same. They put that thing in you so that they can extort from you. I don't think that you should allow anybody to do that to you because that will kill your business. That will kill your, your, your ambition, you know. And they are, they are all around. And some of them will even tell you why you will not go to heaven. <laughs> and I had to control. I had to confront that person who called me to say that. I had to confront him and say, "No, please, don't call me early in the morning and trying to tell me the vision you had on me. No, don't." And so you should have the power to confront those people and say that. Don't call me. Uh, don't tell me this. If you need money, ask. If I have, I will give. If I don't have, you should not curse me. You know. So I think that you should have that power because you should have that strength. If you don't get that strength. The business that you are trying to build will collapse because you are the you are, you are the strength for the business all the problems that you meet you are the strength if you are, don't stay it will it will die if you look at it all the things that you have ever succeeded in it's because you you exhibited some bit of strength in that that's why you succeeded the moment you ex exhibit weakness it will crash it will crash you know and and this is what the other people are trying to use to control us all the time some people will go for all kind of incantations just because they want to go for for a contract. Why do you need that? You don't need that. If you go and they don't give you, what do, what does it change? Because the moment you go to do all those things, you don't believe in uh, procedures and principles and stretches. And yet the people who have been able to build anything, consistent, predictable, anything, sacrifice in building procedures, stretches, systems. And this is what, uh, uh, if you want to achieve anything in terms of your business, this is what you need. 
And so if you don't pay attention to these things and you continue to pay attention to all the others, you'll be in for 20 years and we still look back and say that we have never grown in this thing because we did not get the basis right in the first place. You know, So it's like you're trying to build a story building and you don't understand structural engineering. <laughs> you just put anything anywhere. The engineers will tell you that you are failing. And then when it crashes, you may not even take it to the fourth step before it crashes. And it may not be demon. It's like the builders that that that, are, that continue to uh, go down on us. A lot of them are just engineering failure. It's not demonic. A lot of them are not demonic. So it's the same with business. If you have trouble, it's because there are some things that we didn't know. It's not a big demon or anything. So don't let anybody control you with fear. With fear. With fear. They, they will continue to, you know, they call you. And once they get your number, <laughs> they continue to call you all the time. Some of them you will know, some of them you don't know. They'll call you, and none of them will call you to give you money. <laughs> they want to call you and take the money from you, you know? Because once they create that fear and the panic, and why you're not going to succeed, why you're going through that trouble, you want to hear more from them. And then you see that instead of you putting a lot of effort and the resources to make sure that the thing comes back to life now you don't even have time to think freely because they have they have they have gone for your mind you know they have they have destroyed the mind you can't think clearly clearly and then you don't even believe in data and analysis and all those things anymore you know so the things that you should be master at you should be mastering in your feet in your fourth in your tenth year you still at the first year in terms of maturity because they didn't allow you to go through the process to grow and to understand the basis rightly. So that is what I want to say. Don't let the fear, whether it's a natural fear, cripple you. And don't let that superstitious fear that others create uh, cripple you. If you dream on anything, why do you, why a lot of people are even looking for a lot of dream? You ate Kenke the last time, you ate, you watch a movie the last time, you go to dream and something goes back and now you are looking for, <laughs> if you control what comes to your thought, I'm sure that a lot of the dreams, uh, the genuine ones will be the only ones that will come. A lot of the other ones that are destructive, you see that they are not really, 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 really like that, you know? So the little exposure, the little experience that I know is that don't let the fear uh, cripple you. Don't let the fear creep you and don't let another person keep creating fear in you because you want to start something. Start. Start. The Chinese are doing it. All oh, the other people are just using scientific and managerial and business laws to work and we don't even understand this. We are just looking for the supernatural to work. <laughs> and if you look at the results, they have done better than what we have done. So it's likely that they have some basic facts. We have some basic facts that we don't know. That's why always we are still struggling, you know. So that is what I want to say. That gets the basic fact, get the basic fact right, and possibly you may not need another prophet to tell you why your business is not working. You may not. <laughs> you may not need that prophet to tell you because by the time you get the basis right, you are set for growth. You know, and we delay because probably of how we are not trying to understand the basis. We, we are not understanding the basis and we may not even see the need for us to get the basis because they didn't tell us that they told you that we once they have prayed for you <laughs> to work <laughs> and they know we're working because there's system that's supposed to work there are basic things that have to there are basic things that have to be in place for any business to work and if you don't get them rightly then you will struggle any goal to work there are basic things anything that we set for ourselves there are basic things for us to do and if you don't do them then we will see that the other ones we are not getting them rightly and a lot of them are within our reach a lot of them are within our reach so don't let people use the the unknown to control you because now there are there are many, so many people call you everywhere, trying to teach you, trying to get you the formula to succeed. <laughs> the formula to succeed is character, is hard work, is power, you know, is updating your knowledge, is staying with it, is pushing. For me, I would want to develop that skill more than not having that kind of skill and waiting for the other person to put some kind of power on me all the time. How about if that person is not there? Then what happens? You know. So if you're going to commit your life to do anything, then look for that. Look for that. Look, build this character, strength, hard work, perseverance. 
those can carry the, the fear those can cont contain the fear those can help you to succeed more you know than all the other things that uh, they are trying to uh, tell you because they are going to come and they are going to tell you all the time if you put out and there's any sign that you are getting somewhere they have to come and tell you because they need your attention they need the money they need a lot of things from you and those people are going to be many why well, they're not calling the owners of shop right and all the money multinationals and be telling them to fast why are they calling <laughs> why are they worrying us <laughs> you know so there's something missing somewhere and but you can guard yourself you can protect yourself from a lot of these uh, people you know so uh, that is what I, I want to say that don't let anybody control you through fear control that yourself and the ones that are in you control them yourself control them yourself and you see that you you'll be able to succeed and the moment you think that a lot of things are within your control then you are not going to blame anybody you're not going to fight anybody you know that once you become better you can control a lot of things and so uh, that is the that is the little that I I have to say and uh, thank you very much don't let anybody screw you there has becoming so many <laughs> so many you go to the market and see <laughs> they go to shop to shop with, with all kind of incantations this guy is calling you with some some bit and trying to call you and trying to read your life you know and the other one is trying to give you quotations uh, there are many they no and then they are not telling you to read research get the data get the facts you know at least do the basis and for me if you do the basis you are likely to go far far and if god has to tell anybody anything he god can talk to you directly he can get to you by yourself you know and you see that a lot of businessmen are just for me I look around and I see a lot of businessmen are just puppets of a lot of these guys. A lot of these guys. And they call them, they come to the house any moment, they're trying to declare all kind of attention for protection. And all. Are we the only people that people want to care? You know, it's, it's, it's amazing. Then why did God leave the Bible in the first place? So for me, that is it. Or, or, or the other people. For, I mean, don't let anybody use superstition or spirit to control everything that I, I remember i had a friend who worked for somebody and the person was not paying then you go he went to somebody he called spiritual for, for him to talk to the person for him to get the go ahead for him to go and chase his money uh, yes it may work but i don't understand why you are doing business and if they are not paying you are going for somebody with spiritual understanding to give you the go ahead go off. when you were working where was that one was it in the on the field with you no so if they are not paying, you go and fight. If they pay five, if they don't pay, it's not like there's a demon somewhere holding it. That thing is so much. When somebody is trying to do something and it's not working, there is a demon. There is a spirit somewhere. I don't know how many demons they brought it out to Africa. <laughs> most, most things are killing, killing, killing a lot of ambitious people. They are killing a lot of ambition among this, this, this generation. Because anybody at all is trying to use something to control us all the time. All the time. And then the fear of ourselves as well. The, the fear that we have, the incompetence that we have, they're also letting those things stop us from trying to take up anything. You know, so the forces are many. And so I would say that I don't think that... Do I think that most of them, when you start, you understand. And as you continue to upgrade yourself, uh, you will get to your destination. To You will get the results. So don't let anybody anywhere... Be calling you and be creating all kind of panic and don't also create that panic for yourself you know so uh, thank you for watching uh, have a good day thank you very much very much